<laughs> the best thing about us, though, is it's about that us. That is true, though. It's factual. Yeah. Russell really Wilson uh, nailed that one. I am. I, I may be in the minority. I'm excited to watch Russ play. Let me say this, this sir. Weekend. All right, Did we're going to hit this. We're going to go in here. Gonna we're going to do it. I, it's funny. We had I had a conversation with our uh, coordinating producer, Mike Hoskins. Like, should I go in on it now? Because it hasn't been official yet. And maybe we do it tomorrow. But you just brought it up, so I'm just going to go for it here. Russell Wilson has not played like the dangerous, let Russ cook, Russell Wilson with while. consistency for a, a few years. Yeah. Okay. I mean, remember he got hurt in his finger, and like it was rare to ever see him miss a start. He was so damn consistent yep. and consistently great in in Seattle. He didn't just make the playoffs. He won multiple games in playoff seasons multiple years. Mm -hmm. He went deep into the playoffs. And in the same way that we, you know, lionize uh, Aaron Rodgers for his ability to move around and throw a Hail Mary, throw a deep ball. He's one of the best deep ball throwers I have ever seen. Facts. And we, you know, we were all over Russ from the start in the history of our show when we did our, our podcast back in the day. And, Chris, you were the television producer of that, putting yes, together what we were recording you know, uh, for audio, but putting a camera on it back when not many people kind of did that. Nobody. All right. no. but, 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 um, uh, remember we, we were all full up. I know for our season kickoff. And then the Seattle Seahawks called us up and said, you know, our, our, our new starter, Russell Wilson is available for this 30 minute period. Do you want him? And we were like, damn right. We do. Yeah. Also, he's going to be late because he's watching film. Right, because like, he's watching uh, film. Okay. Right, and 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 we and we um we made room for him because he's the kid that took the job from Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn, who they yeah. signed as a free agent, and gave a ton of money to. Right, and he's the guy. Just to keep going on and on, just to remind everybody, he's a guy. I remember when NFL Network we did a Thursday night game in in Seattle, and we asked for Marshawn Lynch after the game, and he said no. <laughs> and we're like, who else are we going to ask? Because there really wasn't, the Legion of Boom wasn't booming yet. A lot of them weren't there yet. And so we asked Pete Carroll. And people were throwing Skittles at us the entire time. I'm serious. <laughs> yes. You know, and, and um, because there was no real identity of this team. And Russ came in and provided one for them, along with the Legion of Boom, obviously. So it's been a while. And... If he gets this opportunity that Jerry Dulac mentioned in the last hour, and he's our Steelers whisperer, and he said he would be shocked now if Russ didn't get the start Sunday night on NBC against the Jets and Aaron Rodgers. By the way, two of the best deep throwers in 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 recent memory, if not ever. Maybe we'll get another shot. Or multiple Hail Marys, right? I mean, that's what I mean. I mean, crazy. And so for him to get this shot, in Pittsburgh and make the most of it and rekindle a Hall of Fame trajectory. This is a big if, but in this world where, you know, 199th overall picks become the greatest ever and grocery clerks have movies made about them <laughs> right you know what i mean like yeah you can't say it's not possible and it's not a dumb and dumber saying we have a chance here because there is a defense and a run game and and a coach and a, a coach that's not going to get fired or a coach that's not going to start listening from outside the building and making different changes and things of that nature it, it's set up you know, where, where there is a big freak physical receiver outside for him to exploit. If he can just do this, it would be one of the most amazing stories in recent NFL memory. And this is why you're saying, you know, I don't think you're in the minority to say you want to see this for Russell Wilson. I just I don't, don't know if Steelers fans want this No, after, I think after Steel seeing the way Justin Fields has played. Because what, what Steelers fans are seeing is a young kid with a physical skill set that at age 35, Russell Wilson does not possess. And they're seeing a team that is four and two 
and maybe we should just leave it well enough alone. Right. Why are you upsetting the well, apple cart? Yeah. Why are we doing this for a guy who over the last three years did not prove to have the abilities that we're throwing out there for a magic carpet ride to take off? And, and they're sick and tired of either missing the playoffs or making it and getting one and done and not having a team like the Big Ben years, right? Where they go in with one of the best teams in the playoffs, and if they aren't, they're going to go on a run. And good luck to stop them. You know, like that. I think that's what Steelers fans might be concerned about. And what people are in the minority about is this magic carpet ride scenario that I'm laying out for you. People believe that that's just not going to happen because reality is going to hit and Russ wasn't seeing the field very well in Denver. And if he was, he'd still be there with Sean Payton or Russ wasn't performing very well at the end with Pete Carroll, which they decided to go and get rid of him. You know, which one is it going to be? And for a team that is four and two in the mix in a division where both Ohio teams seem to be one of them's totally out of it, and one of them has the parts and the people to actually make a run, they're two games in front of that team in Cincinnati right now. And they are in the mix tied with the, the Ravens. So why are you upsetting the apple cart? Why are you doing it? Bengals and Browns, one of them's going to pick the other one off. And then, you know, the Ravens have a rough one on a Monday night at Tampa. You have a chance to beat the Jets at home on Sunday night. Just keep going. Why are you changing it up midstream? Why are we doing that? For a guy that, you know, Jerry Dulac can say, this has been the plan all along. Well, why has that been your plan? Why was that the plan? Based on what? So that's what's at stake here. And um, the magic carpet ride would be an incredible story. Incredible. And it might start playing out Sunday night against Rodgers getting Devontae Adams back. Unbelievable. What a night. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.